space influences us, no question. Which is when we go, what we do, all sorts of things. Um, supermarkets. If we think about, uh, you know, do we shop at the supermarket nearest to us? If it was a spatial decision, we'd say yes. Spatially, we'll go to the supermarket nearest. But we don't, because there's a whole other fact. This supermarket doesn't sell the shampoo we want. It doesn't have the sexy checkout guy. It doesn't have my friend working here. Whatever the case may be. Let me rant a bit. Okay, this is how we understand space. Often, it's two-dimensional. We take a three-dimensional field, and we turn it into two dimensions, and we uh, create a map. It's one thing you notice that's problematic with this map. How many of you, when you came in, how many of the roads were bright yellow? <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyone want to pass the river today? Anyone notice the river's got a big purple line down the middle of it? Maps aren't reality, they represent reality. And we look at this and we understand the codes. We go, oh yeah, okay, you know, I understand what's going on there. But in fact, it's just a whole series of uh, socially constructed conventions about what a map should look like. So somewhere along the line, someone made the decision and said, oh, let's turn all the main roads yellow. So we go, okay, that's a good idea. And so we get that convention. It's not a reality, it's a representation. 